Hello and welcome back to the final of third generation Intel Core Challenge by Inferno Online and we have the dream final. Yeah, we have it. It's like El Clasico but in Counter-Strike, Fnatic versus SK, always a lot of feelings. People, oh, no, it's not like they dislike each other but they really want to win it because they've been playing each other so much. SK came out on top last time in the Swedish qualifier and, you know, Fnatic really want to beat them. You can hear... Uh, Kerrigan, told, Kerrigan us. told us that they were really motivated and going into this game, and uh, I think uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna start with Dust Two because they were just uh, choosing the maps be, uh, after they went yeah, into Dust Two. But if they would start on that, I, I think because Fnatic obviously saw the game between SK and ESC, so they, they're gonna be ready for Delpan's up and not letting him take that much space. It's gonna be hard for SK to play Dust Two once again, and we yeah. talked to Robin outside. And he said that they're going to have to redo a lot of stuff before this game, yeah. if they're going to play Dust 2. But uh, from what I get, th obviously they won Dust 2 versus Fnatic uh, the last time. two weeks ago. Yeah, but but then again, it's Fnatic's best map, I think. Yeah, it feels like it's yeah. one of their best maps, thanks to their two oppers. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're doing so good with it. I mean... Utilizing that you have two operas on Dust2 and Train, especially a CT, that's just, it's huge. It's huge. And uh, I would actually like to see Robin play more up. Yeah, I mean, he's good with it. He used to do that a lot, especially on Dust2. So that they could use this uh, <coughs> two upper combination when they yeah. have Delpen, who's the really aggressive upper, and then Robin, who, who has always been very good at his positions like on, on oh, Dust2 yeah. he's always been a key player with this all in the A site. Yeah I remember play when we used to play with him and even after that he's been playing in it the same way all the time but doing it with great success I mean it's very yeah. very hard to take <laughs> over B1 when, when you have Robin there with not because he's so experienced in, in that position so you know exactly what positions to have when to go up and take a shot when the backup flashes comes from seed spawn and long so he, he, he's just amazing at that position, so I, I agree with you. I really want to see them using that a lot more. Yeah, and as you say, Robin has been using this position forever <laughs> and still uh, hasn't really found a way to counter him yet. Nope. There, there's been a lot of tactics just based on Robin's AWP in A, but we're not totally sure yet if, we're, if we are going to see this too. Nope, I hope so, though. It, uh, it, it will be a really fun game. And Fnatic would really want to beat them on the map the last, last time that he should have won. Yeah, I think that one of the maps that we are not going to see is probably Nuke, wouldn't yeah. you think? Because yeah, I, I, I think I heard them saying that they were going to remove Tusken, if I wasn't mistaken. And uh, <coughs> from what I know, SK hasn't been very good at Nuke lately, so I think yeah. that they're going to try to remove Nuke also. Yeah. So we might up end up seeing uh, Dust 2 and Train and maybe Inferno. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sad though. I would like to see Nuke. I think the most... Exciting games are normally at Nuke because it's like and so it's so tight. You can see a lot of hero moves coming in, and and it's such an old school map too. It's yeah. always fun to uh, watch. Exactly, Nuke. and especially if you have two teams that are willing to do a few rushes and and fast retakes on A and stuff, and it's, it can be action packed. Nuke. Oh yeah, it, it sure can. And I mean, what a tournament we had so far, considering the frags we've seen. It's so many. Huge frags coming in from a lot of players, uh, more than we've seen in, in a lot of tournaments lately. It's It's been like heaven for frag by clips here, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, there, there have been <coughs> like highlights in every match yeah. we've seen so far. and Quite a few. I really do, do think that someone should make a movie about this yeah. event. And I don't know if someone made one about Copenhagen, but that was a yeah, highlight-filled event oh, yeah. too. It was. And XCOM riding in first map does too, second nuke, third Inferno, if that... Information is correct. Dust 2, Nuke, Inferno. Nuke is a bit unexpected for me, to be honest. Because SK, it seems like they've been performing <laughs> poorly on Nuke, to be honest. Yeah, they have. So I, I would be a bit nervous to play that versus Fnatic. But then again, Fnatic has two great offers, and on Nuke it's hard to utilize this, but of course yeah. they are also very good riflers. They are, they are. I mean, th the only one who's struggling a little bit with his rifle is Delpan compared to the others. I mean, he, he's good with it, but not as good as <coughs> some of the other players, really. And he basically only plays off. Yeah, he plays Delpan. off, and he's, he's very good with pistols as well. Yeah, and we see Freeze and Carrigan are excellent riflers yeah, they also are. at the same time. Yeah, they're, they're, they're more... Opers. Yeah, they are. They are. I mean, they, they can use anything. 
But Delphine is more of a pure sniper. Yeah, definitely. And maybe that's why he had such a big su success with it, because he's only using up pretty much. Probably, I, I would guess so. <coughs> Heaton, what team do you think will win? Uh, I'm very shattered regarding this. I, I, I really can't say. I would say it's 50-50. I'm voting for or I'm rooting for SK, but I think that Fnatic they have been playing so solid. I mean, okay, that SK won last time and they've been playing great today as well. But something in Fnatic's gameplay are really impressing me. So yeah, uh, it is. I guess I'm gonna say Fnatic. You say? Um, if I'm gonna be totally honest, I would say Fnatic too because uh, SK has always been a bit unstable and they still are i yeah. mean to me they are a bit unstable they can be the very best team in the world but all of the players are going to have to perform on top for them to do so yeah and then you have fanatic who just seems so solid in every game and you see their players performing in every match also so it's yeah. it's a bit intimidating it's almost like I fear Fnatic a bit for SK's sake. Yeah, yeah. I mean, normally SK used to come out on top versus Fnatic, and so was the case last time uh, they, they played. But, you know, right now I, it feels like Fnatic has grown so much lately, winning Copenhagen games, being in the finals here. I, I'm going to have to go with Fnatic here. Yeah, but it's... Uh I think both of our hearts are going to say... Oh SK. yeah, I, I, of course, I, I do want SK to win. Rooting for our old teammates <laughs> and yeah. uh, kind of an underdog here. I mean, both of us think that Fnatic are probably going to be the favorites to take this home. Yeah. But still, you always want to root for the underdog. Yeah. And it's it's more of a case of uh, SK having to really play well here and play on top, play their mm -hmm. A game to win this while Fnatic can. They have such a high level. The w one thing we have to take into consideration, though, is that we're going to play Dust 2 and then we're going to play Nuke. And... Fnatic has been using two ops a lot, and we're not going to be able to see that on Nuke, obviously. No, we're not. And then again, uh, Getright and Forest have been not on fire, but playing very well today. So, uh, and I mean, if they, they continue to play this good, I mean, they can turn around a game around themselves. Yeah, I would love to see in the final <coughs> here, see Forest or Getright perform really well and <coughs> do some hero rounds like... I think so as well. Like all of us are kind of missing from them. Yeah, we, we saw a few uh, Forest pistol round was just insane. I mean, it wasn't easy shots he took. I mean, it was hard duels. Yeah, and he was really aggressive oh, yeah. too. He yeah. was like, standing there picking them off. Saving the round for his team there. Uh, yeah, so we have all of the players on the server yep. now. Just waiting to start. Exist pulling up 67-6. <laughs> he's so good. And he's been playing a lot of warm-up yeah. Exist. Warm-up versus AFK players. But uh, yeah, this should get started any second. And uh, I guess we're gonna the knife round is gonna be deciding who's gonna start as T also. And considering they just played us two, and we can almost assume that Fnatic were watching the game, they're oh gonna yeah. have a good sense of what SK's playing style yeah. is like. They're, go they're gonna know what to expect from Dalpan. Yep. And they're gonna be expecting. Also, we saw a lot of. Uh, Standard setups from SK in Upper Dark, where they yeah. had three or four guys in Upper Dark, and it looked kind of strange to us. And I asked Robin what was up with that, and he told us they were trying to be split a lot. Yeah. So, and ESC managed to cancel their attacks and make them, I mean, rotate a bit. So it looked worse than it was. They actually had a plan, but it yeah. it looks a bit worrying to me, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, it is, and especially right now when they're playing a team like Fnatic, that is maybe the best. CT team in the world on Dust2, when, when they had the poor T side, it, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be hard for them. And the knife round is live right now. Uh, I don't think it matters really for the outcome of the game, who's starting who on this map. Usually it doesn't. <coughs> I can't say that I ever really went in for a knife <coughs> round 100% because it doesn't nah, really neither. matter in the end. It might matter for momentum, but still, as a top team, you are very aware of the fact that you can always turn it turn it around when you play on the on the stronger side. Yep. And we're gonna see <coughs> SK starting ST, I think. Yep. And Robin just restarted his CS for some reason. He's gonna be right back in and then we're gonna go allow it to pistol round. 
I think we we're gonna have to see SK improvise a lot more here. Yeah, I because think so as well. To me, they can't play the same game that they did versus ESC. It looked very stale to me, and it looked like they didn't really know what to do. They were just standing around waiting for Delpon's contact, and yeah. I think they're gonna have to come up with a lot more to beat Fnatic here. Yeah, uh, so do I. So do I. I mean, they they need to win their duels and improvising a lot, just like you said. And uh, what? Oh. Who do you think we should follow on the pistol round, you guys in the chat? Because we have so many good USP oh, yeah. players here, or uh, pistol players in general. Delpan, Forest, Gux, you know. We're going to see. Try to write it. And everyone is spamming a... a, a, a forest. A, it seems like Forest. <laughs> All right, Forest it is. The forest did have a yep. great pistol round. Most, most of you guys vote for Forest, and we're going to go for that. <coughs> and uh, we should keep in mind that uh, Israel played... Fnatic on this map and Israel chose T and then Fnatic put up a what was the score? 14, 16, 14 to 1 first half. 14 to 1 yeah. CT half and does 2 so <coughs> I mean in this tournament so far Fnatic, Fnatic has been looking re really strong on CT does 2. So yeah, it, it's they have. They have to be sure. a bit intimidating for SK. Yeah, it, it has and I mean I, I think you know uh, that starting out as T for SK is probably bad because you know they might get in a bad move, feeling that Fnatic is all over them if they don't you know do very well in the beginning here. Yeah, and I, I don't think they're self confident about their T side on Dust Two is that good after the last game. Even though they managed to win the game, for uh, Fnatic is going to run in with such a good self confidence after playing so well versus uh, I Israel and you know SK did a poor T half here. Uh, you never know what's going to be better. <coughs> Fnatic, who played a few hours ago and actually had a break and got to eat and chill for a while. Yeah. And, and SK, who's just coming off the win of ESC. It's hard to know who's going to have the advantage. I mean, SK is, are going to be a little bit more in the game. Yeah. So they might have a bit of an advantage here. Yeah, I mean, it, it is, you, you can look at it bo both ways here. That they, they're like unfocused because they played for so long and not playing straight again, away again, just getting some air, a drink, and then starting again, or that they are actually warmed up. So it's kind of, I don't know, sometimes one thing is good, sometimes <laughs> another one is good. Yeah, it's hard to say, but we're going to see here yeah. as I soon as we get started. Yep. And the reason for Free's name, that it is named Forest, uh, I think we talked about this down in Copenhagen. I actually asked him why it was named that, and he said for no reason at all, just for fun, right? Yeah, I really don't get his name. Yeah, nickname. no, I, don't, I, don't, I think it's weird. I would love for him to nick Freeze, to be yes. honest. Yeah. So. I think it's a bit confusing. It is, it is. So and Forest I mean, for Bambi yeah, Yagan? Or? Forest nicking is no good too, but Forest is almost, I mean... He's known for his nicking. Yeah, yeah so he's, be, he's been nicking that right. a lot. Maybe that's... But I mean, <laughs> Freeze's nick, he has Forrest's name in it. Yeah, that, I mean, that's weird when they play each other. And, you know, <laughs> probably confusing some people, you know, when, when we stream Fnatic versus Israel, that people thought Forrest were back in Fnatic that, you know, don't follow the scene too closely nowadays. Yeah. So... And it looks like SK are probably having a a walkthrough of the yeah, they are right now. Robin is back on the server, so we're gonna go live here any minute. <coughs> and this is the final of third generation Intel Core Challenge by Inferno Online. So this is gonna yep. be, and I, I like the concept of this tournament. It's First of all, it's been working very well here, keeping yeah, the times, and very we, good. we've very had good great matches and a, a great concept to having two qualification days. But I do like the final also. It's going to be winner takes it all. So w we're going to know that the players are going to give give it their oh all yeah, here they because are. there is no second place right now. No, it isn't, and you know they really want to beat each other for for you know how can you say I mean, proving themselves. For the glory. Yeah, for the glory. I mean, it's it's super important for them, you know, for, for their own egos to win this game, really. Yeah, as we said, I mean, it is a bit of a rivalry between SK and Fnatic. It always has been because they've always been fighting in the top yeah. about who's going to be the best in Sweden or in the world. Yeah. And here we go with the knife, with the pistol round, actually. 
Yep, and we're going to be live here. It's going to be interesting. We're going to follow Forrest here on your request. And he does have the USP. <coughs> I think he bought it himself, though, so he's not going to have an armor. SK versus Fnatic. First round of the final. Yep. Just two here. Yep, and it's going to be interesting to see. I think actually Fnatic has better pistol players in general. And could this be a B rush? Or nope, they're going to slow the bomb it outside. down. Robin is specking. Uh, I'm guessing that Forrest... He's going to try to make contact and go in, but Mahdi is in the back of the plateau. That's a very hard duel for Forrest to take if he's choosing to go out there, but it looks like he's just idling up there. Three guys They're moving towards the middle. Split here, right? Yeah, and we have Robin up in the middle, just waiting for contact there, almost at the catwalk. Three guys, lower dark. I, I'm guessing that Robin is going to grimsy, but I, I think Forrest spotted uh, Mahdi in the back of the plateau there. Oh, Just nice headshot by Exister in the middle. Nade coming in. It's going to get a frag with it. Nope. Four HP left at Robin. And three guys since I be now. This is SK walking into a trap here. Yeah, it is. Yep. Carrigan takes that one in the middle. Next frag need to go to SK to be, be able to win this. Oh, look at that. Forrest missing his duel there, but doesn't really matter. All the four remaining Fnatic players are at pretty much full HP. And yeah, they were. And uh, I mean, they, as you said, they walked into a trap. I mean, all along, Fnatic had three plays to be, and at the moment they tried to attack, they yep. had four plays there. So it's yep. mission impossible. Yeah, it is. It SK is. And Madi at the back of the plateau, too, taking all of the contact there, just delaying them. Yeah. And we see a buy here from SK. Yeah. I, I like that though. I mean, they're going to be forced with uh, two Ecos anyways. Might as well buy the Eagles. You can see Delpen's nickname yeah. to Mari taking down two at stairs. Great job yeah. by Mari. Yeah, and I mean, we need to see some clutch stuff going on from SK to be able to turn this around. Down three versus five right now, and only Mario's hit to 55 HP. We see the SK players are working their way down middle right now. <coughs> Can Force get any contact here in middle? Yeah, Kerrigan takes out Robin. And Face things and not looking good for them at the moment. Oh. We're gonna be able to Yeah, they're making this run flawless, even though SK has the Eagles not working out too good for SK here. And uh, the fun fact about these two teams that a lot of them have been playing together before too, yeah. so it's a lot of rivalry here. Everyone wants to beat each other. I mean, real bad. They do. A lot of rivalry going on in this game. It is the answer to El Clasico in football. It in is, CS. indeed. So this is so much feelings for the players going around with this. They really dislike each other at the moment, even though the friends outside, you know, they really want to crush the opponents. And they should. Oh yeah, of course. I think that we need more rivalry here in CS. Yeah, th I mean, th this is pretty much the only game where I feel it's a rivalry be between the teams here. Yeah, we me too. And a fast echo here yeah. from... First weapon SK. round coming in here. I don't think Delpan can afford all here, do you? Uh, he did buy a Deagle yeah, too, exactly. I guess. Uh, so he has an AK. He has an AK. They do have the spawn too long here, SK. They might be trying to take long fast here. Yeah, so it seems Robin moving into dark hallways, forest face up the middle, get right, dropping or being outside long, same with Delpan. See the boost here oh, in the middle. That's a nice boost. Yeah, he, he sees suicide very well here. Yeah. Carrigan. Doesn't get a contact though. Yeah. And he can have his friend covering lower dark as well, so it's very good boost there. It's, it's a bit innovative. There's yeah, been a lot is. of boosts. I haven't seen that one. And Freeze is standing in the middle of long here. If they walk out together here, then they're going to be able to take him down. Yeah, they are. But I'm guessing somebody's going to drop in the slope. But he's standing a bit too far outside. He want to get the yeah. guy who drops in the slope, though. Gets flashed away. He's going to make his shot here. Forrest is actually sneaking up on long right now. Yeah, I, Three I mean of them are. Oh, he misses his shot as well. We Goes go. down. Here comes Get SK. right takes one as well. This should be a round win for SK. They take out the two guys going out to bomb spot. Gonna get the bomb down and can organize the after plant position. So they really should win this one. Yeah, and you can see that the Fnatic are already trying to save this round. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's the correct way to do it. I mean, no, no chance at all to, to, to turn this around when they get the bomb down and full HP like that. You can see Robin is hunting here. He gets one and peaks that one here too. 
Good job there. Oh, nice shot by Kerrigan. And I mean, I think it's very important right now for SK not lowing, even though they're not that high on cash themselves. It's going to be dangerous to, to let him save it. That, that, that gives Fnatic a chance, actually, uh, even though I'm guessing they can afford, or they, they are going to afford. Yeah, but like, it, it was a good hunt, yeah, to it be was. honest. It was. Um, yeah, we see Orbs coming in at freeze. Uh, I'm not I like sure what, what Kerrigan has. I like what I see from SK there. They're they really improvising yeah, here. Yeah, they are. They took long, all five of them, and decided just to sneak long. Got yeah, the contact and play. just exploded. Yep. Smokes come into the middle. And Delpam finally has his AWP here. We see two Fnatic players are rushing up yeah. the dark here. Oh, Robin's Robin by himself outside there. And ex three guys are in the hallways here. Exist just in the entrance, going in there as well. And Robin is going to be in a lot of trouble if he's going in there. He's going to go go down. I wish that he got some backup here, Robin. Yeah. That Delpam came from T spawn. Yeah, Robin is pr here probably they come. Wide. Oh, nice headshot by Exist. Oh, it wasn't him. But <laughs> Exist takes him out anyway. And I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna be able to read that SK is gonna attack B1. Kerrigan doing a bit of a land spray, I think, in the, and they need to get this up here without him taking down another one. Yeah, they it goes do. down though, but the rotation is in. We have two guys close in the seed spawn, and all three of them are down in the seed spawn. Wouldn't surprise me if we see a boost here, or, oh, very flashed oh, exist standing whites. there. <laughs> they, they're gonna try to boost here, but I'm guessing that SK is gonna be ready for this, covering this spot. Oh no, they're not. Oh, good headshot by Get right there, and they're gonna know that at least one more is down in the seat to spawn. We have one uh, with the op on the Geffen spot. Delpan takes Marty down. Delpan. Very good job. And Gux is going yeah, to gonna gonna have to here. save. And I don't think that they're going to have enough money to buy again, even though they managed to save this. No, they're not going to have that. And uh, great job there yeah. by SK. Oh, nice, nice. Turning this round right around for... Uh, yeah. After the losing the entry to Fnatic, yeah, yeah. There. I mean, it, it, it looked you, you could see the rotation towards A coming in very fast there, so they were actually there. But some good flashes coming in there, stopping the rotation for them, and uh, very good job. Could see how, how flash exist was. Yeah, exactly. And great job, SK. I mean, Robin got flanked, and they had to move on long, and they did that very well, and just exploded and came over long too. Well. Yeah. Fnatic was stuck in CT spawn too, so I mean, really fast decisions here from SK, which yeah. paid off. Paid off very well, and you can see that they're improvising a lot at the moment. Yeah, you you definitely can. Yeah, we have Face Robin going dark hallways, Delpan up with the AWB and the bomb in the suicide area. We do have an eek around, only Gux with a weapon, let's see if they can do something. Yeah, they're, they're actually trying to do something. Four guys with USB in the slope, and Gux standing in between with an M4. I think that you could see a bit of an anti-tactic too from Fnatic last yep. round because they, they know that Robin is going to be all alone yeah. outside of Upper Dark in the beginning of that round. Yeah, they are. And, and we're going to have to say some crazy stuff going on from Gux right now in order to win this round because when the bomb goes down, unless Gux takes out at least two people, it's going to be very tough for them to take this back. And they are going to walk into <coughs> Fnatic here. Yeah, they are. Only Gux defending yeah. this side, though. And he's, he's falling back towards long now. Bad timing for him. And they're going aggressive long as well, <laughs> and Gux is following them. Don't want to give that weapon away yeah, without You can see the timing here. Yeah. <laughs> Just as they went up on catwalk, Fnatic <coughs> started pushing long. We can see Face in lower dark. He's going to be in a lot of trouble here. They're going to see him from... Yeah, in oh, and he spots them <laughs> right in time. Ah, he's gonna be he so should hunted. fall back there. Yeah, he's going down. Gux takes down Forrest as well. I think they're going to go for it. Yeah, they're going to go for this, I think. Oh, Robin is there. Takes out two. Can he get a third? Nope. Two versus two now. They, they're going to go for this. And Getright is in a very bad position here. Oh, no, they're falling back. Good for SK. And for uh, Getright is going to be there. Get a free frag. Last man is Marty standing out the middle, probably gonna get spotted. Oh, nice headshot by Get right there. Yeah, Gux did have the kit, so they could have gone for yeah, it. Yeah, I think they should have gone for it. I mean, no reason not good, to. Good job by Robin defending those yeah. weapons and getting out two fast kills there at Catwalk, making them doubt themselves and deciding to save instead. And Get yeah. right manages to kill Gux and the, the last city also yeah. who had a weapon. But I think they should have pushed there. I mean, it was three on three or and then two on two, and with, with a kit and armor on Gux, I mean, that's more than fine. What they would have had to do was that Gux should have followed his teammates right away yeah. so that he could kill Robin on stairs. Yeah, that's, that's true, that's true. You see Delpan with Nob here. And we see the Ops yeah, here. Freeze, freeze. at Salmon. And then we're going to see if Kerrigan... Yeah, they're, they're playing the double AWP here, and that's very, very good. Yeah, we see SK are working their way upstairs right now. 
and they're gonna be able to rule out the I mean they're gonna know what kind of defense that Fnatic has right now they're gonna know that he has a an AWP here in, in A. So yeah, they, they, they should know that they're playing double OBS on this map, and yeah, they are. They, they know that. I th think we see Exist is going to jump this box to be able to spectate it. To peak four Freeze here. Yeah. Uh oh, the important first frag, Freeze takes him out. Flash coming in. I think it's going to take another shot from there. I would. But it's falling back, though. Falling waiting, back. Waiting, waiting in the back up. Exist managed to get one. Oh, Robin takes out two important frags there, and, and, and Delpa needs to take someone out now. He needs to do it fast, because I'm thinking that they're going to push before the bomb even goes down. Yeah, they are. Uh. Big flash coming in there, Delpa totally blind, and Madi takes out Robin right before that. And Good play by Fnatic there, you know. As soon as they're up on that site, they start flashing in and attacking before letting them get the bomb down and taking after plant position. Yeah, Very clutch play by them. You can really see the kind of play that Fnatic is trying to do yeah. here. They really fast back up and and you can see all of them coming at once and not not staying behind and letting letting them reposition. They're just going one hundred percent forward right away. And uh, I think that's the fun part about <coughs> watching these two teams. They really know what needs to be done here and just yeah. regroups and tries to retake the site at once. Yeah, and I think Gux got hit through the wall, thirty five HP left on him. Robin being able to spam Gux a bit in B. And they are gonna take long here. We're gonna see that Mari is gonna be able to peek them and then he's gonna get back up yeah. from freeze. Yeah, he is. And, uh, I mean, SK should know this. If flashes sh should come in to remove freeze from his backup position there. If they wanna attack Mari here. And they should, they should. Nice job by Mari to actually be, be able to take down uh, get right there and hurting Forrest down to 44 as well. Great job by Forrest avenging that death yeah. on his teammates. Oh yeah, that could have been hard otherwise when the rotation came in for Freeze as well. Yeah, had he not got that, it would have been really hard for SK. Yeah. Oh, nice shot by again. Delpan. Oh, good shot by Exister. Isn't it bad smoke? Oh, oh uh, no, it wasn't him. Gox's was headshot there. Yeah, I, I thought it was Exist. Ooh, oh, Robin. Robin goes out and takes two. Robin is playing great this half. He, he said after the, the, uh, the last game that it was kind of off. Uh, so went Delpa's going to gonna peek here yeah, and gets takes him. him out. Good job. And, but Robin has been playing super good. Did you see that Delpan actually peeks here with the off too? Yeah, yeah of course he is. He's, he's so <laughs> aggressive in his playing style. And, and you know, Robin was so far from him too. So it's just crazy yeah. play from Delpan here. And he pulls it off too. Had he not done that, Gux was actually advancing on him. Knowing yeah. that Robin was far from the site at the yeah. moment. A good job by Delpan and Robin at that round. Robin coming up huge there, getting yeah. one in mid and one in CT spawn with the insta headshots. Yeah. And we see, I'm guessing that Fnatic has Nico now. Yeah, five USPs. And SK taking the right bomb site. We're gonna see them go aggressive here in yeah. lower dark. We are, we are. Oh, get right on the hidden position. <laughs> uh, this is a hidden yeah, position, it is. I Always grimacing there, taking some eco frags, <laughs> people coming up the stairs. I think that everyone knows that that's position yeah. from probably frag or die, right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Fnatic in CT spawn goes down two of them. Oh, gets headshotted now. Kerrigan, last man standing on this yep. eco. In double doors, get taken out from behind by Get Right and yeah, very even game so far. Even though, you know, Fnatic has been the best CT team I've ever seen on Dust2 before, they, they start losing around. I you mean, know, the, SK the are the doing a two, great uh, job three. here. Yeah, they are. They won f uh, five out of the last six rounds. So, I mean, I, they're g doing a great job at the moment. Yeah, considering Fnatic won the pistol round, this is a great half for SK, to be honest. You see, Kerrigan is going aggressive. So is Mari. Yeah. Dalpan gets the contact in B versus yep. Exist. And still full HP on Exist. Yeah. FaZe managed to get Gux down though with 5 HP, but Mari replies and takes him out right after, and Forrest goes down as well. Forrest pushing long all on his own there yeah. and goes down to Kerrigan. Yep. A bit unfortunate here for SK. Yeah, and Mari, Mari pushing takes again. Delpan, yeah. Good job by him el eliminating the biggest threat to them, actually. Delpan with his AWP. Yeah, and had this been a... F I mean, 
one or two years ago, I wouldn't have ruled out Git right here, but I'm not sure that he's going to be able to pull this off. I, I think they're in a very bad position. You can see the Fnatic team is rotating towards B now. Exist is inside B. They Freeze are is so just outside. In. Kerrigan aggressive stairs and Mahdi down in the middle. So, you know, they need to get the entry on Exist. He, he, he needs to go down there. Otherwise, it's a round loss. Oh, nice positioning there. Just in between, you know, yeah. where you move your crosshair when, when you're seeking off the normal spots. Very good job by him. Exist has the position where you have to walk down the stairs yeah. to see him. Yeah. So it's it's going to be kind of a bug, uh, bug step there for the T's. And Great positioning by him. And we have a tie here. 5-5 five, yeah, five, five, five. between Fnatic and SK. Yeah, SK affording again. We see up on Delpan again. See Freeze trying to take the shot versus Delpen and Kerrigan is aggressive on stairs also. Yep. Misses the shot on Get Right. Get Right gets oh, him. Gets him. Good job by Get Right there. Really opening up this round. I think that SK need to use lies on this. Not Look giving any, any easy frags away. Yeah, Marty is very flash. Marty with has an the AWP. Why? He picks up Kerrigan's yeah. AWP here, trying to get even this out for Fnatic. Yeah. Good job by SK staying passive here. Exist yeah, it is. are going to have three people coming on to him here. Yeah, I mean, he, he needed to do some super clutch. Oh, good headshot. Goes. Oh, what? What is Forrest doing? He needs to get that frag there. He has it, to get it. What, what a good frag by uh, uh, Exist. Yeah, great first, I mean, insta headshot on that angle. Definitely. And Marty is up on the site. Get right is on long. Face coming from the stairs. He, ne he needs to wait for Get Right though. A little bit. Oh, good timing by Face there. <laughs> Just as Marty turns around, doesn't hear him though. And he has the bomb, so he's going to be able to plant it towards Long without the rotation being able to see him at all. Yeah, and we have a two on three now for yep. Fnatic. And it looks like they are going to go for it initially, but we're going to see Robin defending stairs here versus yeah. Gux. I mean, Gux needs to get his frag in order to win this round. He needs to get Robin out here. Oh, Robin with the internet timing. <laughs> Hello. Robin and steps out. Yeah, Freeze exactly saving right his arm here. Freeze is going to have to save this one, and they're probably going to hunt him because SK has, I mean, decent money yeah, still. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, they, they're hunting him. We see Face and Get Right rotating towards the seat, be uh, at the seat spawn. But Freeze is hiding very good there, not going to get spotted. Yeah, good. Good for Freeze here, not getting spotted and yeah. losing that up. Going to be interesting to see. Even though Fnatic might not afford right now, uh, they, they can still win this round. Oh, they're, they're buying. See, Deagle Farmers, Deagle, and two calls. This is a very low buy for Fnatic, only because of the said up here. Freeze is going to have to come up big here for Fnatic. Trying to get Delpan there. But Delpan is at long instead. Freeze is going to rotate to A, though. Get right, replies yeah, getting with two. Frags two. There. Good job. Goes down to exist afterwards, though. But this is wide open. You can see Kerrigan is down at 16 HP. SK have such a big advantage being 3-on-3 three on, three on Dust2. It's yeah. a big terrorist advantage. I would love to see them. Oh, they don't have the oh, bomb. They, they don't. But I, I wonder if exist know that the bomb is there. Oh, yeah, they do. They do. And and they watch out for Freeze oh, yeah. here. He's in... Very dangerous position for them, even though Kerrigan is very hurt. It looks like Exist yeah. and Kerrigan are gonna try to defend yeah. this bomb. And Freeze gets down Delpan. We see Forrest is already up on A. Face is. Oh, he's going. Oh, this is gonna be dangerous. Do you, do you think they're expecting this? He might time them just yeah, I right. I think here. Exist is actually looking down there. Yeah, he is. Good oh. job by Exist. What a positioning there. And exist with three frags in this round. Oh, oh. <laughs> face throwing a face grenade. Face, yeah, that's typical <laughs> face. Yeah, and he's, he's gonna get uh, caught probably by the op here. No, nope, misses the shot. He's gonna get to the side, but yeah, I guess we're gonna see some fast retake. Yeah, here. I mean they, they, they should. They should just rush on him before the, he can start picking them out one by one. The problem is that Kerrigan only has 16 yeah. HP, so it's gonna be a little bit tough for them. Yeah, it is. And exist is very close in the stairs here. Uh, pretty bad position to do something from face soon the here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Get why he's just standing there. Oh, gets one. Wow. Oh, gets hit a few bullets by himself. Exists. Can he get another oh, one? He needs to get him. A oh, good and he gets him. Oh, oh look at nice face run, winning that. Face. I don't think I don't think he even realized at <laughs> first that he, that he got Caragan along wow. there, but then turning around. Winning that one versus three. 
Good wow. job by face there. Face. Very clutch round Starting by Starting this round with uh, throwing an <laughs> yeah. energy at himself, <laughs> I mean, too. It, yeah, it, that one, one on three situation. Starting that by just throwing a pot grenade, eh, like me, throwing and rocks then in the water. That but round. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, that, that, that was a horrible grenade and a super clutch round. Nice that you can mix it up. And, uh, I mean, did you see the Fanatics uh, retake their. They came one and one. Yeah, from different directions. Different direction, directions. And FaZe actually got three different duels. Yeah. None at the same time. No, exactly. I mean, they could have timed that so much better. Exist was attacking the stairs be before, you know, he was red long. If they could have just timed it because they knew FaZe's position there. Yeah, you know, all the credit in the world to FaZe, but Fnatic splitting A there. Had they only stuck together, they would have had a much better chance yeah. of, I mean, coming at him as a team instead of going one by one. So, I mean, it, it's always a mixture of bad play and good play. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but that's, you know, in today's CS, for, in order most rounds to, to allow somebody to do something nice, you have to do something bad versus them. Oh, oh probably Get Right, get right should have had him there. A Exist. very bad duel there from yeah, Get Right. 40 bad. HP left on yeah, Exist he's here. Still almost half HP. Three versus three though, and SK is in the advantage here. Yeah. But Freeze is in the back of the plateau here. Doesn't he have knob? And uh, yeah, he does. Yeah. And great job by Exist getting two frags there. Very good job by Exist and managed to fall back with still pretty high HP. And we see Kerrigan with a cold yeah. right now. And this is this is bad for SK. You know, normally in three versus three, you you're you're in the advantage. But considering we can say the overview here, you know, Freeze is inside B with an AWP here. It's going to be tough to attack that. He needs to miss his first shot in order to jump. Oh, and he misses he it. Here, SK comes. Yeah, big flash coming in. Managed to get one. Can get a second. Yeah. Oh, he, he does. Oh, misses Robin though, but. Oh, Robin is oh, going down. Insta headshot from Kerrigan. Yeah. And a great job there by Freeze in B, being able to get two frags there. And you could see him throw the flash on the plateau and taking the shot at the same second. So you could see the guy was actually running in with his back turned. And a nice reflex shot on the second one. Right now we have a lead for SK, 8-6 to six in this half. Yeah, well, I mean, they should be happy with getting eight, 8 runs versus Fnatic, especially while being down 3 to nothing after pistol round and the Ecos. And with Super Sniper on Robin. Oh, good job by Kerrigan onto him there. Or no, it was Delpan with the Super Sniper. Maybe it's, that's a wrong buy? Uh, I would guess that it's a wrong buy, at least on Dust 2, yeah. right? Yeah. Forrest making a, doing a good yeah, job Delpan dodging flashes down, here. Though. Get right, going aggressive towards the seed spawn. Bomb is going down. Four versus three right now for Fnatic. Kerrigan is pretty hurt though. Oh, good job by Freeze there. What, what a frag on onto Forest. Last man standing his face. It's going to be able to pull off a one, one on three again. Oh, he gets him. He's totally blind. Oh, oh goes down to the nade. <laughs> I, I mean, I started, I started thinking uh. to myself that it was actually go going to make that, but... <laughs> You no. always want to think yeah. it's possible. Yeah, you say, especially you know when he just won a one on three round right before that, and the first round is ending eight to seven for SK. Considering you know it's Fnatic they're playing and they lost the piss round, I think it's a very good round. It's a, it's a decent score for SK here. Yeah. Considering I, I mean they lost the pistol round and they lost the deagle yeah. by so. Fnatic actually had quite a an advantage in the beginning of this half, and SK with a nice finish, but it's. Between two good teams like SK and Fnatic, it's so tight. It's so many rounds going back and forth. And you can really see the quality in the teams in the decision making during the rounds too. We can see Fnatic doing some really nice retakes yep. there on there A. You. And then we could see <laughs> Fnatic doing <laughs> a really bad retake yep. also. Like versus FaZe there. Uh, yeah, allowing FaZe to win a one on three. Yeah. Shouldn't have happened there, but. I'm guessing both teams are pretty satisfied with score. It's pretty even. Okay, here we go with uh, yep. the second pistol round of Dust 2. Yeah, and who should we watch? Uh, <laughs> let's see here. I don't think Forrest has really been that hot today, so I don't think we should watch him. Marty. re re, re it. Yeah, Marty or Gux, I would say. And you can see... 
SK has three plays to be right now. And pushing Catwalk too. Robin is falling back today to cover long here for SK. Yeah, very seems passive pistol run from Fnatic here. Seems like Fnatic are going to go for an A split here. Yeah, we can see just a standard setup from SKR. I don't think you normally see many teams using standard setups on pistol rounds. No, I think this can be very dangerous here for yeah. SK. If Fnatic can fall back now and attack the stairs while Mari has long, it's going to be very hard for them to defend yeah. stairs here. Yeah, it is, and Robin is standing, specking long towards seed spawn. Oh, and we see them going to long instead yep. of Fnatic here. And Robin actually has to back away from long too. And they are yeah. pushing forward here. They are, they are. If they, if they have nades here, it's it's going to be problems for SK. And here no. comes the push. Oh. Nading them down. Oh, but big nades coming in there, but you know, they're already over. No one has gone down yet. Going into that crossfire. Oh, good job by Gux there. Get right takes out two. Oh, he's getting wow. a third. A big play by Get right coming in big there. Face takes out. Oh, uh, get, get right takes four four shots. What up, get oh, right? Wow. Look at that. Looks beautiful in the console. Yeah, it does. Mm. And uh, I mean, Delpan and get right were in stairs all of the round, and you can see again the the fast retake here yeah. from SK also just running into the site and getting three headshots. Yeah. Is get right here. I I, I think the, the nades that came in, even though they didn't get a single one down with them, you can get caught in a choke point with smoke there. I think the 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 nades had a huge impact on them, oh, considering they, how much damage definitely. they did. Definitely. And Forrest is going to pick mid from double doors, and Robin yeah. is on his box here in A. We're going to see a cat push here from Fnatic. Robin yep. just jumps down from Only here. Locks three HP on both Freeze and Gux. Gux one HP. Good job by Robin by staying alive here, even though it doesn't have any. Oh, oh and he dies from long. It. <laughs> there comes Exist <laughs> out from long, <laughs> and I was just crediting Robin to staying alive there. But yeah, yeah, did at a good least job in the beginning. We had Delpon with a USP here, so he can pick up the Colt, and then he's gonna buy an AWP. And we're yeah. gonna watch if Delpon can get an entry here for. Uh, for yeah, SK. I mean, he, he played so good last half. But I w what I want to see right now for Fnatic is that they, you know, freeze and hopefully Kerrigan. I mean, they could use double AWP as T here. I think. They, they gotta be prepared for Delpon's up here, yeah, especially I, because I, I think a team like Fnatic are gonna do that. They, they obviously watched the last game. Oh, here comes the push yeah, from yeah, Fnatic coming from from towards B di directly, and SK has two men stacked up there. Big Nade coming in, taking out Face, doing a great job there. Nice flashes from Face yeah. too. Oh, look at Face. Kerrigan, last man standing, is going up lower dark at the moment. That's a very unusual boost to do. I mean, between two top teams, they were just stacked on top of that box. You saw that a lot before and worked out perfectly for them here. Yeah. I mean, it's very hard sneaking in there with that crossfire and face, face. taking out four people, right? Did, did face ace? and forest defending B very well yeah. here with Dude. the double stack. Great job. I mean, you don't see that too often anymore, people stacking up like no, that. No, you don't. Not at all. But it, it's very good because sneaking towards B, it's like something quite solid. You, you can do quite a lot, but, you know. The thing is, SK knew that they were going to do a semi-buy. They were not yeah. going to have a lot of nades, so they were not going to do any standard setups or anything. So they did the double stack, anticipating yeah. maybe a... A peak round from Fnatic. Oh, yeah. You're, you're very right there, Wally. I didn't think of that. And that that's pr probably good game reading from Robin controlling his team there. Great read from SK yeah. here. Either from Robin or Face and Forest. Yeah. I mean, calling that double stack in exactly. B. And we have a pause, yeah, it's right, pause now. right now. Yeah. It might be a timeout. We're not sure. I'm yeah. sitting here reading the chat at the same time. <clears throat> Yep. So, what do you guys think? Who, who do you think is going to win this map? I mean, SK looks like they have the advantage right now, but I mean, I think they're, they're going to win, but it's going to be tight, I think. Uh, I would think that Fnatic is going to come back into this game yeah, also. I think so as well. But I'm just very curious to see what Delpan is going to be able to do, considering, I mean, Fnatic, Fnatic has to know that he's going to be aggressive and yeah. trying to get peaks and entries versus them. and. I'm curious to see what Delpan is going to do and how Fnatic is going to counter it too. It is. I mean, they're going to be. I think that Fnatic is going to be ready for Delpan's op. 
And the, the last time they, they played was, was, you know, that was the key in their defense. He was playing so well, doing pretty much what he wanted with the ESC. But <laughs> I think, you know, a team like Fnatic, when they're ready for it, it's, it's going to be a lot harder for him to shine like he did. And yeah. I really hope that they kind of neutralize him because and they, they, Fnatic kind of needs that to be able to win this game. And they played with with, with uh, Delpen too before, so... Yep. I mean, they're so familiar with uh, Delpon's playing style here, so it's going to... I mean, how is he going to solve this problem? Is he just going to, I mean, uh, do it anyway? Probably. I would yeah, guess I, so. I think he is. I mean, he's going to start out doing it because, you know, if they're not counter-tacticking him or trying to remove him, he's going to be able to do what, what he wants. So he's going to start off doing that if he, if he feels like, you know, they're very ready for it, they're, you know, don't, don't giving any easy shots to him, just flashing him away... T taking peaks everywhere where it, where it can can be and pre-firing and stuff. He, he's going to quit doing that, but until that, he's of course going to run on with it as successful as it's been before that. And I wonder if Fnatic are going to start to be a little bit afraid of Delpon. If Delpon can land only the first shot here mm -hmm. in his first oh, aggressive yeah. push, he's going to, I mean, start putting some doubt in Fnatic's mind and there's so much psychological it is. It's such going a on right now. It's a big aspect of the game and you know, yeah, because Fnatic is going to have a game plan here. Yeah, they are, of course. And I mean, just like you said, the, the first shot is going to be so important. If if he lands it, they're going to get scared. You know, they're going to be feeling like, oh, Delpon is on fire. They're going to be scared when they walk around every corner. Probably not, you know, moving as usual because they're scared. And I, I, I hope for Fnatic's sake that he doesn't make the first shot. But I hope for SK's sake that they are. Yeah, because I mean, uh, if they get Delpon. Uh, a bit tilted to if they really succeed in countering him and anti tactic him uh it, it's going to be hard for him too because i think he's a bit of a mood player probably yeah he is when his game locks down it's kind of hard for him to get pr back from it too yeah and we can see here that fanatic is ready so obviously it is sk who has some kind of trouble here yeah uh it looks like Fnatic is ready at least, just waiting for them to go. Oh, uh, trying to watch the chat here. What's my name on Play Nation? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying to be so anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> uh. yeah, and the game is paused. Yeah, it is. So we Wally edition? Is that something coming out? Um... <laughs> Well, I, I don't know. If so, we would like me to do a Wally edition. I definitely would because they seem to be doing a lot of great products. So I, I would love to do it. But <laughs> you know, maybe in the future then. Yeah, give me a call and I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I would and do a, a huge mouse pad. Yeah, with y a picture of me, right? <laughs> you, you know, a low sense op op yeah. pad. And we, we see an eco coming in from Fnatic here. They're going to try to go out the middle. Yeah, and Forrest has the position here very defensively yeah. in yeah. the hole. I don't think they're going to be able to get too many people down in SK at the moment. You know, being stuck in that door. Yeah, no. flawless round from SK. And SK start building up a lot of money now, being not they losing are. too many players in any round, really. Four to nothing here for SK as CT yep. send us to him. We heard Carrigan tell us that they really wanted their revenge on Dust2 because they considered themselves to be better than SK on yeah, Dust2, they of are. course. They are. And now we see Freeze buying the AWP here for Fnatic. Yeah, lots of love to you, monkey boy. <laughs> and <laughs> I wonder if we should have an AWP here on Delpon also going aggressive there. You can see him just jumping yeah, out here. He's <laughs> continuing his very aggressive playing style here. We see flashes coming in. The oh, misses his shot though. Get right, he's going to be in trouble here. Oh yeah. There's a he lot of players him, here. He's, didn't he spot him? Oh, he's going down. Bad positioning. And it's going to be an ace split. Delpan managed to get one. And Robin needs to take two here. Ooh. Oh, this is bad for them. Delpan oh, probably a bit flashed there and didn't see him through the smoke. But three versus three with the bomb going down. Fairly high HP on everyone in Fnatic. That's going to be very tough for SK, I think. And also we already, for Oh, fa Ooh. false rotation here Look at via this. long. Yeah, Forest, very good rotation Did there. Did you see the guy Salmon too? I think there's one more. No, no, it's not. It's not. One is down in CT spawn and one is... And actually, I think Marty is going aggressive towards uh, Forest here. Face takes down. Oh, and Face takes Marty. both. Wow. wow. I mean, SK wins this retake. 
three on three, and yeah. it, it feels like, of course, Fnatic had to win this round to turn. I, I mean, to get into the game yep, and getting the momentum. I mean, they, they, they are going to be able to afford next round, but but really, the the, the key to one that, that they won that after plan was for a so fast rotation. Yeah. They didn't expect anybody to be coming long already. You it know, you really have timers fast. in your head where you think, okay, now I need to watch that way because yeah. they're so experienced and. Four is just rotating so fast there when he knows his A split. He's just running all the way, gambling a bit, and it show, pays off so they win the round. Yeah, he did get the important yeah. op off. Yeah, exactly. His hands. And not only that, he, he forced the, the other player, the remaining players, so they couldn't be in the ramps. So. This is a nice setup from SK2. They boosted Forrest above the double doors here in middle. Anticipating a B split here. Oh, yeah, Fnatic. Forrest boosted. Playing him. Fun, fun boost. Not, not often you see that nowadays. And it looks like it's going to be a, an attack towards stairs. Just Robin and Get right there. Forrest is rotating though, but Gux gets an important entry. And if, if Fnatic just push on now, they, they should win this one. Bad positioning for Get right Ooh. again. Uh, Get right is being very off right now with his positioning. Oh, Gux team kills and gets face as oh, well. Oh, good position here on yeah, Forrest. Yeah, Forrest. Oh, goes oh. down. Kerrigan with a nice yeah. headshot to finish Very off um, Forrester. Yeah. But, I mean, he had a nice position in the sense that I wouldn't have expected another CT to be there. Nope. And but really, get right, he's being caught in very bad positions right, right now. And I think a player like him should be more experienced, you know, in knowing what places to go on in the right situations. Yeah, it, it does seem like he's a little bit off his game, to be honest. Yeah, it does. Sip the open aggressive again in middle. Yeah. And four Fnatic players in upper dark right now. Just waiting for the first peak here. Delpan knows that Kerrigan is here. Misses his shot yeah, misses his down shot to 68 well. HP. And here comes oh, to B2. Oh, face takes out one. Can get no oh, a leg shot or sh shoot his own friend and getting face through that. <laughs> Ah, uh, good payoff though, I'm guessing. Oh, and it might be a fast yeah. retake here from yeah, SK. Here they come. Freeze is very hit as well. Good Ooh. flashes coming in. It's just... Force can, can run in like nobody's shooting towards him. Last player is inside B and Good job by Forrest. A good, good organization from SK. Definitely. Making that false retake before Fnatic actually managed to take after plant's position because you all know how hard it is to take back B once, you know, the smoke goes down in the door and they have a good crossfire on it. It's like Mission Impossible, in my opinion. And they're yeah. doing a great job there, not not allowing Fnatic to take that plant's position they want. In a 4-on-4, four four, we talked about that in an earlier match, the only way that you can b win a B2 retake is, I mean, essentially, if you do... A fast retake, either one of you or the whole team, and we saw a real fast retake there from SK, and it paid off. They didn't get into positions and were all very white when yeah. SK came. And we see something different now from Fnatic. Very passive player in T spawn. Yep. Kerrigan has the AWP. Yeah, we see a Deagle on Gux, so they're very low on cash, but they need to win the rest and of the round to take also into a draw. Has an AWP. Or a. Uh, to, to win this game. One more round and SK already has drawn the first map. Oh, and... Kerrigan gets the important face. entry on face. Forrest is there as well, but I don't think it's going to be... Oh, he gets two people. I didn't think it was going to get the second one there. With, we with do that. have two more people. Forrest actually backs away from B here. Gux and Exist has B and has the bomb here. Yeah, it's going to be very hard. I, I think the Forest felt like th they're not going to go there when it takes down two people and uh, has 100 left still. And, I mean, th they're allowing, you know, the, the Fnatic players to, to take good after plans positions. Freeze just grips <laughs> down in low dark. Gets a two-on-two, two, though, but really Fnatic should win this one because I don't know why they're running around like that, but they should have a good after plan crossfire normally. Going to watch Delpan here with yeah. the AWP. Throwing away his flashes, coming yeah. in to B now. In. Oh, good timing there by Xis, going out right in in the right second there, t taking Delpan off guard. Very good job by them to actually go towards B when, when you know, two, losing two guys there before. And you, d you could see what you asked for before. Fnatic actually had two oppers yeah. as T, and that's what... Uh, Part of your request yeah, earlier. I, I, th I think it's a very, very good thing because they have two great OBS and uh, 
you know, they're, they're utilizing them so well. So it, no point in not having it. No, they did win a round after yeah. all here with uh, two orbs. And we have an orb at freeze again. Only an AK on Kerrigan, though. Looks like they might want to push mid here versus yeah. Forest. Yeah, but but uh, then, then again, the bomb is still, still just outside T-spawn. We have uh, Kerrigan and Exist, I think, going out long here. We have Get Right hiding down in the slope. Yeah, he's hiding behind the boxes right now, but Fnatic a bit indecisive now. Doesn't really know where to go, but they are going to split A here. Yeah. Three people long and two catwalk. Yeah, and how, how is their setup? Get Right handles long. Oh, three people is going out there. Uh, I'd be surprised if Get Right can make any major impact. They're going to spot him off here. Yeah, they are. Oh, good headshot by Get Right there. Very nice, but he's in a tricky situation right now. He doesn't have any close backup here either. Oh, wow. Yeah, needs to push up now, though. Flash is coming in. It looks like they're falling back. Exist is behind the box with the bomb. Oh, get right. Hits Exist at 34. Gets quite hit himself. And oh, he doesn't see him. Oh, good <laughs> job by get right there. Very clutch play by get right. Pretty much winning that round with that very nice headshot in the beginning there. And... Yeah, what a nice recoil control from Get Right on the first one, spraying when only seeing the head and still gets the headshot, and then he just wasted so much time, and they couldn't get anywhere with the bomb along. Yep. So, Robin and I don't know who the other guy in A was, probably Dalpan, could only focus on Cat, knowing that Get Right was holding them off along. Yep. Yeah, and at least draw for SK now, right in the we first see map. Dalpan. Up in middle now. Oh, gets Gox there, but he's caught in a very bad position there. And allowing Fnatic to pick up that orb. And that could be dangerous for them. Oh yeah, it is. Face needs to fall back here. Modis hit to 12 and Forest to 20 oh. here. Look at how aggressive SK are at the moment. They're playing very aggressive. Not only Delpen is aggressive now in SK, all of the team are. <laughs> you can see Robin coming from yeah, T spawn. This is a fairly easy duel though. Oh, Mari with two nice yeah, headshots. Face takes up one. Exist headshot to 52 HP. Face really need to wait for Robin here. Don't peek anymore. And you can see Robin is trying to join Face yeah. here instead yeah. of splitting Exist. Yeah, I think that's the correct way. You're gonna see is an insane player, though. So he really can, he's the, the kind of player you want to have left in this situation. You're going to see Face and Robin working together yeah. here. Ooh. Here comes the nades. Oh, Ooh. good headshot. What a headshot by Exist. <laughs> Doesn't really make it, though. First map goes to SK, playing very, very well, I would say. Amazing. 16 to 9, was it? And that, that is, that's a great score versus Fnatic. Fnatic, who beat Israel with a 14 to 1 CT, does two sides. So this is some really solid play from SK. Amazing. Very good. And th then again, we have to take into consideration they lost the pistol round ST as well and the first two rounds, even though they bought the Eagles the second one. So. That, that's an amazing result for SK. They, they did a fairly good T side, I guess, versus <coughs> a, a team as Fnatic who are really good at CTs, but then SK switching to CTs and are actually better than Fnatic. Yeah. I mean, yeah, a, a 7 to 2 win here, 8 to 2 win for SK as CTs on those two. And they just had great control over the money and they looked to be in charge of this half. They were, they were the better team by far, really. I mean, I don't know, I kind of expected Fnatic to, to, to win this map. Well, as we said, both of us thought that Fnatic yeah. was going to be a huge favorite. I mean, not huge, but kind of a big favorite still. And SK was going to have to come up big to be able to beat Fnatic, and, and they do. Yeah. I mean, what can you see in SK that got them this win? I mean, is everyone stepping up? Because I can't po point out one play that has been carrying the team. It, it, it's kind of funny that you say that because I'm, I'm just thinking to say I'm like, why did SK win this map? I think they just played very solid. Must have been, I mean, team play. Yeah, it must have been. And I mean, everyone is picking their frags and winning the situations too. And uh, I mean, write this in the chat and uh, who who do you think is the MVP? I mean, yeah. it's kind of hard to tell actually. I, it wasn't anyone that's you know shined out that well. So I, I'm actually gonna go with Robin here. The, the game leader in SK because it felt felt to me like the reason that SK were so successful was that they called the tactics very good, their CT setups very good. You know, 
took the right decisions in the right rounds, improvising a lot because Fnatic knows how to play and you just watched him play Dust 2 versus ESC before this. So I, I would have to go with Robin. How about you? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, don't, I can't pick anyone to be honest, but what we saw from SK on the CT side was some really fast retakes mm. and just a lot of team play. So, I mean, maybe Robin calling everything or whoever it was taking all of these decisions, probably all of the players, yeah. but they just played great as a team and and they knew that in some situations you just gotta act fast and uh, I mean, it's so fun to see them rush B to retake yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, it's so good, you, you know, if, if you let the terrorists that are as skilled as Fnatic is set up their, their uh, oh, they're, 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 played. They, they're normally losing it because they're, they're so good. They're not, they're not going to lose that, in my opinion. And some really good call in there by SK to make fast retakes and forest rotating that round uh, three versus uh, three when they got the bomb yeah. down on A and playing very solid as a team here, I think. All right, and I think we're going to have a fast break yep. here for the players and a small break for us too. We're yeah, going gonna to be right back in a minute. With Nuke and yeah, SK Nuke. are this in gonna the lead so here. This is going to be so much fun. Yeah, SK leading one to nothing in maps. Nuke coming right up. Uh, my favorite map. It's going to be so much fun. And don't go we'll anywhere. Right back. 